Hi guys, it's Actual Mono. How's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. I have another zoologist review for you. After this one, I am all caught up, pretty much. Today I'm talking about the newest version of Rhinoceros. It was originally one of the very first original, shall we say, inception fragrances for zoologists, but they recently reformulated it. New perfumer, Prin Lomros, someone who I admire quite a lot. He's actually made three for zoologists now, three under his belt. He made Sloth, he made the new version of Bat, and he's also made this one. I think Prin is a really good person to reimagine Rhinoceros because his style, if you don't know him, is mainly quite a bold one. He uses a lot of materials. He uses materials that you don't normally see together, but that really work. So this one is about the animal itself. It's about the hide. The original rhinoceros was really about leather. It was about a very large hulking animal dark, boozy, medicinal opening, and this one is a softer approach. So the top notes are whiskey, coffee, rum, basil, and pink pepper. The heart notes are tobacco, leather, sweet grass, ylang ylang, and a bit of incense. And the base notes are cypriol, patchouli, oud from Lao, Laotian oud, then patchouli, oak moss, amber. So this feels to me, looking at the notes and also on smelling it, that it's almost a Chypre style fragrance and not just because of the moss. It feels that way when you smell it. So let's smell it. I will say, I'll, while I'm spraying this, I will say if you have already tried the new version of Bat or Sloth by Prin for Zoologist, you will already have an idea of the feeling texture and the way that this fragrance smells. Prin is very distinct in his way of constructing perfumes. He's very distinct in the notes that he chooses and all of them feel like they're from the same family, yet Sloth is my actual favorite of the three. So this one opens to me kind of aromatic. You can already feel that it's a leather perfume. But as I said, it's a gentler approach to leather where the other one really wasn't. I sometimes feel like I'm smelling lavender and I don't know why it's not listed, but there's definitely an aromatic feeling mingled in with a dark brownness from tobacco. There's also what I can only describe as a sour twang in the opening and I'm not sure where that would come from but there's something that kind of feels a touch sour in amongst a semi-bright aromaticness. But underneath you have the rhinoceros waiting to come out. You are already smelling lots of tobacco and the tobacco in here is one of the biggest players of the fragrance. And here it's not a smooth cherry pipe tobacco, a hookah pipe tobacco. This is really about the leaves. So there is a rough dustiness to it along with some kind of leathery feeling that doesn't feel like a leather boot. It feels like almost brown suede. What's one level up from brown leather suede? It's not leather boot or armchair, but it isn't suede either. It's somewhere in the middle. I don't really get a booziness from this. I did from the original Rhino, but this one doesn't really have a booziness. What it does have is it still retains a touch of medicinal, and that's probably coming from the Cypriol. Cypriol is also known as Nagamotha, camphorous, medicinal type smell, but it's not overpowering and it doesn't make the fragrance feel like medicine. It's just mingled in there. And with Prin, when you smell his perfumes, you're gonna get a lot of things all at once. So it takes a lot of time to figure them out. Hence the reason for me only having one mil of this 10 mil left and still finding things to say. When it starts to dry a little bit, I really feel the moss start to take hold. It, that's when I say, and it starts to feel a little bit like a sheepra. So the moss is adding a powdery greenness underneath, which makes me feel like a gentle, not me, but it makes the fragrance feel like a gentle rhino in a forest, as opposed to a savannah or somewhere in Africa. This one's all about texture. Because Prin blends his fragrances so very well, the, the opening is the blast and it's the aromatic blast that I feel and it's very short lived because you're already into the main how this is gonna smell type thing, if that makes sense. And it's all about texture. This feels 
somewhere between gentle and rough at the same time. It has notes that are causing smoothness. There's not really much sweetness, but really it's about a fuzzy, almost rough brownness, which is very different from the original. It's not a comparison, but if anyone has tried and loved the original, I'm just trying to make a point of saying they don't relate at all. One was a leather, this one is more a tobacco fragrance. For me, there's not really any incense or um, any kind of amberiness. There's not even a touch oriental, but the sweet grass note definitely plays a role here. The sweet grass mossy thing, it makes me, it makes it feel autumnal. I keep saying me, it makes me feel autumnal. It makes me feel like a rhino. It doesn't. So picture that, it's kind of a hazy brown autumnal tobacco smell. That's where I'm at with it. That's what I've got when I've worn it. I have worn it so many times now. Uh, this one almost gave me a run for my money as much as Sloth did, but I finally started to figure it out in the end. In terms of power and strength, zoologists have fragrances on every part of the scale. They have quiet, gentle things and they have huge, monstrous fragrances. This one for them I would say is in the middle. The opening does feel top heavy and it feels like it's going to be something that is very overpowering, but the gentle autumnalness that I talk about does kind of calm down a bit, it mellows out a bit, and you're left with something that is verging on sultry, I would say, but in a zoologist way, in quite an unconventional way. So I get at least eight hours out of it. It depends how much I spray. As always, do a skin test and see for yourself because everyone's skin is different. But for now, that is my review of the newest version of Rhino, the 2020 version by Prin Lomros. I hope you're doing well, Prin. I haven't spoken to you for a very long time. I might send you a message. Anyway, guys, I'm out from my note, trying to make the world smell better, one video at a time. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.